Are you having fun? <laughs> He's having fun. <laughs> Everyone's floppy floppy. Right, hey everybody, uh, welcome to another episode of Line Whisperer TV. Today I'm going to be taking Vietzi, Livy and Ginny for a walk and uh, just letting them loose and letting them get up to whatever they want to get up to. It is a fun part of, of what I do. Um, really look forward to these walks as much as the lions do. I get excited, they get excited, and it's just really about letting these lions get out into this bigger area, running, chasing, and feeling like a lion. All right, so we're here with the guys. Hello guys, you ready? Hmm? Are you ready to rock, Vietzi? Yeah. Seems like only Vietzi's ready to rock today. Hello, my boy. Are yeah, you excited about going to walk, eh? Oh, look who's here. <laughs> oh. Hello, big boy. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, yeah, she comes. Why is she being like that? Oh, there she's going. Alrighty, she was just biding her time. She knows what this means. Yeah. Okay, come Gully. Try not to get jumped on. <laughs> oh my gosh, I always got to laugh at the excitement that these lines show. Heavy boy! <laughs> yeah, these guys know how to keep me fit. Hey, big boy. Ooh. Big boy. Oh, no, no, no. Everyone floppy floppy. Hey. Everyone floppy floppy. Cool beans. Come, let's go. Come, let's go. <laughs> All the lions singing in the background. So sometimes it's nice to just zip the lip and just enjoy the noises of the bush and the quietness. And uh, now it just becomes
become submersed in the lion's world, which is not very vocal like our world. Um, humans do tend to talk a lot. Um, it's our gift <laughs> or our curse. Many of you have been asking me uh, this question, why do I do this raspberry noise? And I'm like, well, I had to ask my wife what a raspberry is. So she was like, now that's the sound you make like when you blow in a baby's belly or you, you know. So I can only assume that it's this sound, this sound that I'm going to make now. And if I'm right, if, if that is the sound, then the reason why I make that sound is simple. It is a, um, it's a passive sound, it's a appeasing sound. It's a sound that the lions respond to as something uh, non-threatening. It's an affection thing, it's an appeasement thing, it's a um it's a hey it's a it's me uh, i'm not i'm non-threatening not aggressive so it's all of those things it's it's affection <laughs> perfect demonstration you can do one on her back It's really cool um, to let these lines do this. I enjoy it thoroughly, as do they. Just exploring and sniffing and figuring things out. Livy just clawing the tree, sharpening the claws or sloughing off the old dead nail material to keep her claws nice and strong and sharp. And it's actually just, every time I see that, it's quite incredible to see how powerful those claws are. I mean, you could never do that with uh, your nail. Probably couldn't even do that with a knife. Um, it just shows the strength and also with that she would have left a scent so any other predator coming past here is going to smell that and I can see somebody else has left a claw mark there but that's an old one. So a lot of the time they reach quite high up into the tree uh, or into the trunk to give their full maximum height. So that would then also show a rival how big they are or how tall they are. So 
There's a lot of uh, this psychological warfare going on. Hard for us to fathom, but the, the chemicals that are floating around, the scents, we say to people, you just think about the, all the scents that are wafting through the air out in nature, and we're so oblivious to them. We've become so desensitized. Uh, the urbanization has dulled our senses, but there is hope because when you do go back to the bush and you, you start to submerse yourself in the bush, you definitely start to hone your senses a lot more and you start to hear, see, smell, even taste things um, that you didn't before. I'm just trying to cross over this precarious little ravine and I'm stepping on a, ah, <laughs> a very small little branch because I don't want to go back that way because there's a whole bunch of blackjacks. <laughs> and that's what I was afraid of. <laughs> anyway. All is well, it ends well. Maybe some blackjacks wouldn't have been that bad. Hello, girl. Oh. What's going down? Eh? Mm -hmm. Sure, getting grey. Look at that. It's got a white tuft. <laughs> Hello, Ginny. Are you looking like uh, you're looking like Kev, salt and pepper. <laughs> She's going to greet her sister. So some lions um, have a spine at the, or like a remnant of a claw at the tip of the tail. Um, some say that it could have been to do with some kind of prehensile tail that lions maybe once upon a time had. Um, who knows? No one really knows what the tuft at the end of the lion's tail is is for and why it's there. But um, evolutionarily, there's probably some reason for it. And because it's not a deleterious trait, um, but, on, but by the same token, it's also not a positive trait, it, it can just get uh, passed on um, from generation to generation. So it's obviously, the, it's not a hindrance and it's not an advantage. Um, but we really don't know. Oh. Heavy boy. a tired big monster. Oh, you're a tired monster. Mm -hmm. put your weary head in my lap. There we go. Oh. Okay. The pride is now gathered under the tree and we are all just relaxing a bit. Sun is high. It's pretty hot, although it is autumn and uh, there is a cool breeze. It's still quite hot out there. Our uh, autumn days tend to hit 25, sometimes 26 degrees over here. Super content and chilled cats. They are very relaxed and very happy. And while I'm talking, there's a bloomin' tick crawling over there. <laughs> yeah, on his shoulder. So again, one of these pesky ticks that I uh, have an eye for nowadays. And uh, yeah, don't want to 
want that latching onto Vietti. Although we do follow, um, as you guys know, we follow a very strict de-ticking protocol. And so the lines generally in the sanctuary are tick free. Where are you going? <laughs> like that, he's off again. All right, guys, so I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank you all for watching Lion Whisperer TV. If you did enjoy this video with uh, this walk with Bayetzi, Livia and Jenny, please do share. And if you're not subscribed to Lion Whisperer TV, please uh, do subscribe. Thank you to all of you who are members. If you do want to become a member, we'll put the link down below as well. So all that's left to say, guys, is until next time from me, Vaetsi, Livy, Jenny. Bye. Thank you.